All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Um, so in this one, I'm doing a pulled beef sandwich. I'm gonna smoke this chuck roast right here. It's a small one, it's like two pounds. I'm gonna throw it on the grill indirect and smoke it. I'm gonna get some smoke on this just until it gets kind of dark. I'm not really worried about the temperature. And then the last couple hours, I'm gonna wrap it just so it speeds up a little bit. But yeah, this one's Arby's inspired. So when I was younger, actually when I was a little kid and a teenager, I used to like that super processed, salty ass roast beef that you would get at Arby's with the, you know, the fake cheese sauce they would put on there which I thought was pretty good. So that's where I kind of got the idea for this one. Except I'm gonna make a sharp cheddar cheese sauce. I'm gonna smoke this up till it's super tender, shred it up, throw it on an onion roll, and that's gonna be it. So, oh, also if you wanted, you could use short rib, you could use oxtail or even brisket if you don't want to use the um, chuck roast. But I'm just using this because it's a cheaper cut. It's more of like a bang for your buck kind of piece of meat. So that's what I'm gonna use. Here we go, guys, check this one out. Quick one for you today. So here we go, guys. So for the seasoning for this little chuck roast, equal parts, kosher salt, coarse ground black pepper, and some meat church, honey hog hot. I mean, technically it's a pork rub, but the beef doesn't know it, so don't say nothing. Just gonna pat this dry. I'm not gonna trim it or anything like that, because it looks all right. It's fine. So now what I'm gonna do is get the grill fired up. It's gonna be like 275, 300 degrees in the Weber kettle. Put it offset. I'm gonna smoke it until it's tender. Just tender enough to shred up. Probably wrap it the last couple hours. Super simple, that's it. All right, so as soon as this ashes over a little bit more, I'm gonna get the charcoal and the wood in there. I'm gonna bring it up to temperature when it, go, when it gets close to like 200 degrees, then I'm gonna shut the vents down and try to keep it controlled like a little bit under 300. All right, so this is what happened. I left for a few hours. I come back. This thing crept up to like 350. This got really dark pretty quick. I mean, it's gonna be okay, but I'm gonna wrap it up. This has been like three hours since it's been on, so yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up and speed up the cooking process. That's it. All right, there we go. It's got super dark, it's gonna be all right starting to burn up on the edges. I mean, once it sits in the foil for a while, it's gonna get super tender. I'm just lucky I caught it when I did. It's all good. All right, so I'm gonna make a cheese sauce. I'm gonna get a medium flame going. I'm gonna put like a big tablespoon of some unsalted butter. It's like a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Just gonna let that melt down. So when you make a roux, do equal parts 
butter to flour. And then when you put the flour in, just cook out the raw flour for like a minute, minute and a half. And then you add your milk after that. And so for example, if you use a tablespoon of butter and flour, then you'd use about a cup of liquid, a cup of milk. So before you add your cheese, kill the heat so you don't burn nothing up and just slowly kind of work it in. Got some sharp cheddar. Check for seasoning, but it's fine. It doesn't need anything, it's good. All right, so this has been on for two hours and 15 minutes wrapped. Now I just checked it. Super tender. I'm glad I caught it when it did because it was starting to get burnt up. The edges are a little, little crusty, but I think I salvaged it. Should be okay. All right, I'm gonna let this rest before I shred it and then I'm gonna get all the other stuff put together and make a sandwich. All right, that chuck roast's been resting. Just gonna shred it up. Super tender. Just take out any little pieces of fat you don't want, just like pulled pork. So that chuck roast started as two pounds, it didn't really end up as much, but looks freaking good. You got these little crusty bits. Got myself a big old Vidalia onion. I'm just gonna slice this into strips. Just saute it in a frying pan for a little bit with the meat. You know I gotta put a few of these little serranos in there also. So the total cook time in this was like five hours, like five hours and 15 minutes. And like I said, I wanted to keep it at 300 or less, but you know, I was a dumbass and I left. And it was up to like 350 for, for probably like 40, 45 minutes. And I'm glad I saved it, because it still came out pretty good. It's not dry or nothing like that. Maybe it could have been a little bit better, but tiny bit over smoked, but it's okay. Like, it's not a big deal to me. But the cheese sauce is really good. All the onions and the serranos in there make it excellent. So there it is guys, hope you give this one a try, I'll see you on the next video, peace out.